gonna be Sunday. Take a break with me, would ya? We've been out in the street, uh, had a rough couple days, um, but today I had to be on mommy duty and I had to go to the grocery store and get ready for the week and had to do that and I didn't, I know how terrible this sounds, I didn't trust my big dude to get the stuff I needed because I got some ideas in my head, y'all. I got some ideas in my head. Um, so I had to uh, get a few grocery items that I thought he might struggle with. So I went on my own. Plus, I just wanted to get out of the house. I am bound and determined like I was before when my back was acting this stupid. It ain't gonna get the best of me, but it has, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Um, Friday, we went to the tree lighting here in our town. And it was really sweet. It was nice. It was fun. They did an amazing display of lights uh, with drones. I thought it was so freaking awesome. I wonder, though, how this little community could afford to do it. Do you all know people? Or is that why I've noticed my taxes have gone up a little? My property taxes have gone up a little bit? I don't know. Maybe the city was, like, trying to budget in for this amazing show. But it was really, really cool. live is very tiny but it's definitely smaller than Dallas uh, we're right on the edge of it um, but when you're in the center of town you get that small town feel and that's what I like about it and that's what makes these kind of little get-togethers feel so cool like if I were in Dallas I'd probably nervous to go to one of theirs because there's way more people and a whole lot more going on um, but so I feel more comfortable in my little area. But the fact that they pulled off drones this year, like Dallas has for New Year's, hey, it was really cool. Went with our friends. And while we're out there, you know, just enjoying the night, I had a spasm of the devil. Uh, it nearly knocked the wind out of me. And it's because we had been walking around, walking around, trying to find each other, and then walking around, and I was standing at one of the bounce houses. Finally found a bounce house that they didn't tell my 14-year-old kid you're too big for. I hate that. No, they're not. They may be tall, but if they're still wanting to bounce in a bounce house, just freaking let them. It's like trick-or-treating to me. Don't be in a rush for them not to be kids. I get it. Well, they're too big to be in the bounce house with the little ones. Then why don't you all set aside one or two for the bigger ones? Y'all have the ones with the slides and the basketball hoops and these obstacle courses. Little kids don't know what the heck to do in those. Why don't you set aside some for tweens and teens? But anyway... Uh, him and his friend bounced around in one, uh, and then after my spasm of the devil, uh, I went and sat and listened to, uh, the high school choir sing some really pretty songs. They sang Carol of the Bells, which is my absolute favorite. Uh, I wanted to share that with you guys, but I don't know if copyright infringement would be upon me. Um, I don't want to get in trouble for anything, but they sounded really awesome, but it was so upsetting because they're from the high school choir. Okay, our choir wins championships. Okay, so they're going to entertain the community, but y'all didn't bring a mics. Y'all didn't bring these kids mics, but they sounded so pretty anyway. You could hear them wafting through the air. It was really nice. Once evening aside from from that little owie and then I got home and yesterday <laughs> okay 
little dude wants to show you something, but I need y'all to be prepared for those of you that are scared. It does have to do with his Halloween costume, which was the Terrifier, okay? So I just want to prepare y'all. Okay, you want to show? Yeah. Ah! He got a Santa costume today, okay? Something he's been wanting. I considered it kind of an early Christmas gift, but this is why. If you all know anything about this movie, this franchise, they're going to have a Terrifier 3, right? Yeah. And it's based at Christmas. It comes out Christmas 2024, I think. Yeah. And it's Christmas-based. Okay, so he has had it in his head that, oh my gosh, Mom, I could totally work a Santa costume with. And I'm like, I know. And we've been looking. Honestly, we've been looking. And went ahead and got him that one. It... it he really wanted it. What's the point of getting it for him for Christmas, after Christmas? Granted, he can still use it for the purpose he wanted to use it for, but he was so excited when he saw it, and he really wanted it, so went ahead and got him, I guess, an early Christmas gift. That's not one of the things that was on his list. It's just one of his, oh, I forgot he wanted it. We forget he wants it until we see it. But anyway, he wanted to share that with y'all. He's so proud of it. Um... Anywho, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, the evening turned out really nice on Friday, and then Saturday... I had plans, guys. I had plans. We were going to get up. It all depended on how little dude's dad was going to do the weekend. He was a no-call, no-show. Y'all been with me a while. Y'all know about that. So that left us open to go to our friend's house. Uh, they were continuing his birthday celebration. And we're going to have some kids over, and they're going to do a battle royale, a game of sorts. Kind of like tag football, if it was explained to me correctly. Kind of like tag flag football, but in battle gear kind of thing. Um, but, uh, so the plan was we were going to go, but my cat wants to go outside. There's a kitty in his head on the kitty da What the matter? What's the matter? You all right? You have issues? You got problems? You good? You straight? Okay. Anywho. Uh, the plan was we were going to go there, and then we were going to come home, we were going to take out the tree, and we were going to take out the decorations, and I couldn't do crap. I was in bed whimpering like a whipped seal for most of the day. I took a pain pill, knocked out, woke up. I don't even know when I woke up, and I just felt so bad because little dude was home, and our day didn't pan out. Like I told you guys, he is so into Christmas right now. He was ready to decorate. I'm like, baby, there's no way. I can get into this garage as organized as it is now. There's no way I can get in there and dig anything out. Because I do have all of my Christmas organized, but I don't have my living room tree stuff, my dining room tree stuff, my bedroom tree stuff, my random beautiful decorations that I have found throughout the year stuff. I didn't have that separated, so we were still going to have to go through to find the stuff, at least for now, for the living room tree, which is little dude's favorite, the traditional one. But luckily, we got back there and I pointed out to what I thought was what. This dude pulled out the bins. We dug through a little bit. He brought in the bins of lights and decorations for the living room tree. He brought in the tree. So it's a bit chaotic in here. Uh, I have a few groceries scattered. Uh, oh crap, I haven't put the meat away. I have a few groceries scattered, uh, bins of Christmas decorations, a Christmas tree. It's just kind of everywhere. I bought a few little Christmas gifts today just because I found some sales. So I got something from my sister and something from my brother uh, that I didn't want to wait. And then the sale's not going to be there or the item won't be there. So I just got two gifts that uh, we'll end up having under the tree. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I just wanted to sit and take a break because my back is acting really stupid right now. I went to knickknacks because I was looking for something specific my sister's asking for and I thought maybe I might find some stuff in there. I didn't. I didn't find anything specific to what she wanted but oh my gosh knickknacks is just so stinking amazing for me. It was so much fun.
like me. I hate talking on the phone and don't have a landline, but this is cool. Ooh, a big mama shell. The only reason I'm not buying this is because I can't reach it. This booth is packed. Is that plastic? No. Oh, it's glass. That is so pretty. This color is amazing. I may have to get this, guys. Those are hand painted. This is a little music box. Ooh, that's a fake. That's not real. These guys have been here forever. They used to be hanging on the wall. Isn't he cute? He's a little lassoing cowboy made out of horseshoes. And y'all know I have an affinity for horseshoes. That is so cute. This looks like the one my mama had that I now have. Just squattier. Uh-oh. Look what they have here. A bunch of these lobsters. But really, honestly, guys, look. If you stand back at a distance, what does that look like? Okay, that's enough. Look at those. There's some uranium glass. I can't with real fur. I think this is mink, and I know how hypocritical that is considering I prefer leather over pleather. But uh, it just seems so sad. Now, this is more my style. It's obviously fake fur, I think. But it's still nice. I mean, feminine. Why not go this route? Oh, my mom had metal little things similar to this, little houses and things. This is so cute. <gasps> it's a piggy bank with a plug. Oh, man, I bet it's expensive. Uh, yep.
And took a break uh, it was so gorgeous today guys so stinking gorgeous we stopped and took a break uh, and just enjoyed the weather at a little park up the street just until my back stopped doing this and then we ended up going to Walmart uh, to get all of the mommy stuff done and now we're home and I am sitting here with a few little things that I'm going to show you because tomorrow if my body's cooperating we're going to make banana bread we're going to make banana nut bread I have been wanting to make it and I'm always threatening to make it when my bananas go weird I always have three two or three bananas that just go really gross and I keep saying I'm going to make banana bread banana pudding, banana muffin something banana pancake something, I never do I end up throwing bananas away and it's just bothering me you know, I actually had four this time four because I got a bigger bunch than uh, usual. Because I've been on a banana craze lately. I've been on a fruit and veggie craze lately. But uh, I had four that were beyond ripe. But not spoiled yet. So I went ahead and peeled those. And I have them in a plastic bag. And I'm going to mush the snot out of them. And set them in the freezer until tomorrow. I probably should have waited to do it tomorrow. But I couldn't stand the smell of banana anymore. Permeating the air. So I'm probably just going to smash them and put them in the freezer. But we're going to make banana bread tomorrow. So I have a lot of the stuff I already needed. But I didn't have brown sugar. I got some new uh, flour because the flour I have is not enough. I need three cups of flour and I don't have enough flour. Plus it is biscuit making weather, you guys. So your girl needs her flour. I got some marshmallows because it's also hot cocoa weather. And hot chocolate's good, but I need whipped cream and I need marshmallows. Okay. Um, and then I got me some of these and this is purely nostalgic for me and I always wait until Christmas to get them for myself because it reminds me of childhood. I always felt so fancy when my mama got me these for Christmas, not as a Christmas gift, but around Christmas. My mama had to have her fruit cake, her tamales, her pan de polvo. Well, what is pan de polvo in English? A shortbread with the cinnamon sugar on top. Some people call them, uh, meltaways because they, the, the, the shortbread just melts on your tongue, I think. I'm thinking correctly, though they're called meltaways. Some folks call them that way. 
Uh, she had to have her eggnog and we had to have some type of fudge. But I tasted these once because somebody gave them to my mom as a gift and she brought them home and I tasted one and I swore I was in heaven. I was this little poor kid from West Dallas and we didn't eat these kind of things and they were gifted to her and she brought them home to share with us. My sister did not like them. Uh, I don't remember if my brother liked them, but I fell in love with them. It was like heaven on earth. And ever since then, it became a Christmas tradition that my mom would buy them, specifically for me, for the house, but specifically for me. And I would eat one a day, just slowly, slowly. To this day, I'm 50 years old, guys, when they come out of Christmas. And I've seen them throughout the year, but I won't get them. I'll only get them around Christmas. Is these guys, you either love them or hate them, okay? Some people cannot stand them. They think they're terrible. Baby, have you tasted these? You haven't had the cherry in it, even? Because he likes maraschino cherries. I, I could have swore you had tasted one of these. No. Okay, well, yeah. But the milk chocolate, okay? I don't like the dark chocolate and, and other little varieties. I see every now and then another little variety. Nah, I want the milk chocolate, milk chocolate Queen Anne. And they have to be the Queen Anne, okay? I don't need to be all fancy with any other brand. They have to be the Queen Anne. And I saw them and I had to grab me some. And I know it's like I went on and on about caviar or something, right? No some friggin' chocolate covered cherries. But, got that. Went ahead and grabbed a bag of bows. It's not in the colors I like, they're very, very basic, but for the last two or three years, guys, when I go to look for bows, I can't find any. Can't find any at Walmart, at Target, Dollar Tree, do Dollar General, Dollar Family Dollar. I can't find them if I wait too long, so I'm like, I'm gonna go ahead and grab them. Um, I know I have these scattered all over in my Christmas bins. I know I do, and I probably have four or five of these, but I can never find them when I need them. So I went ahead and got more of the little hooks. Got candy canes, because you can't have a Christmas tree without candy canes. Do y'all put candy canes on y'all's Christmas tree? Anybody? Anybody? Bueller? Yes? No? I know some people do, some people don't. Some people go really fancy and extravagant, and there's no room for candy canes. But I have to have candy canes. I could probably have diamonds and 14 karat gold ornaments on my tree, and I would still put candy canes on them. And then... I found this little 10 multicolor mini LED light battery operated color pack and I got these because I have a Snoopy Christmas lighty thing that I found at the bins I believe he was all busted up and the lights in him don't work I hope I can finagle um, the way he has his little lights on. I hope I can make this work. If not, I'm on the lookout for more of those uh, necklaces with the little Christmas lights. You know, the big the big bulb necklaces you see all over the place this time of year. Um, I don't want to take little dudes. And I haven't been back to 99 cent only, which is where I found them. And I didn't think to buy any at our tree lighting. But I really could use one. You're going to see what I'm talking about when I show you guys my Snoopy. But I'm hoping I can make these work some kind of way. To where I don't have to dismantle him much. And then also for the Snoopy are these uh, white lights. Because his interior is lit up with white lights. And they don't have a pluggy. So I got some. I'm going to I'm gonna judge him up. I'm going to fix him up. We're going to make Snoopy work. Because I have somehow ended up with the biggest collection of Christmas Snoopies ever. I've always put up. It was supposed to have been a Peanuts Gang Christmas tree. But it, I'd only found or went to, gravitated towards Snoopy decorations and years and years ago I found and if you've been with me a while you've heard this story over and over again every time this year I found a bag full of Snoopy and Woodstock decorations at Goodwill or Thrift Town I can't remember where and I bought them and that's where my Snoopy tree was born but slowly and surely I've collected lots of little Christmas Snoopies that I have begun to put around the little Christmas tree so when I came across this Christmas lighted Snoopy it's gonna be the first year that I use them I think he's going to be adorable. I just, I don't know how I'm going to position it now because it usually sits on my little breakfast counter right here. But if I use that big old light of Snoopy, I may have to move positions. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to put it now if I want to use that. But I'll show you guys what the heck I'm talking about. I know I go on and on and on. But that's everything of interest, I guess, or that I wanted to share with you guys because, like I said, tomorrow we're going to be making banana bread. I'll do a, a cook with me or bake with me video. I don't bake, guys. I don't. It's, it's scary to me because uh, I really don't know what the heck I'm doing. I used to. I, I, was, I'm, I made really good pies, 
okay but i haven't made pies in so long because it's just easier to buy them on thanksgiving which is when i would make them um but i am just in the mood for a nice banana bread and i have these really good walnuts i have a, maybe a month or two left on these walnuts and i want to candy some walnuts so we might do that too or maybe i'll wait to do that on another video closer to christmas so i don't know but i'm telling you guys little dude got me in a good spirit in a good mood because uh, he's just so eager for it uh, i got both my boys home he's with us this christmas christmas is my holiday this year things are a little different this year but it is still good it is still good we are still together we still have a home we still have health even though my back is busted we still have each other it's just it's going to be a good year we're looking forward to it god willing we are looking forward to a nice family christmas so i'm going to put this stuff away i'm going to show you guys <laughs> the disaster that is going on in this house right now and then i'm gonna fluff the tree up we have to get ready to get little dude um ready for school tomorrow i forgot it was sunday honestly it's been a long day a very pained day um yeah today was spasm after spasm um having to stop and kind of like <sighs> catch my breath and it's been a long day but we're home and we don't have to go anywhere else and little dude i'm telling you he done drug in all this stuff so mama gonna do her part and i'm gonna fluff the tree while i'm sitting watching something um yeah so let me sh i'm actually a little curious as to how many snoopies i have so let let's get into that so here's my snoop dog that i found in the bins and these are the little lights that i'm hoping to finagle with these or else y'all can see what i'm talking about one of those little necklaces from the 99 cent only or dollar tree would have to suffice um so the inside is lined with these little white christmas lights and they don't work or i can't find the plug or i'm not sure but we're gonna finagle the snot out of this little snoopy and these are all the traditional ornaments these are 27 years old i bought these when my big dude was little and these are the same ornaments that I've been putting on the tree for years and years. And little dude really likes them. Oh, there's a Snoopy. Get little him dudes. Put him on the Christmas tree. Okay, I'm going to put all my Snoopies together. And little dude, this is a tree that little dude really, really likes. He he is drawn. <laughs> there's another one. He is drawn. Sam Snoopy, he should be the leader. <laughs> he is drawn to this tree. So this is always the first one that I put in. And guys, I did get a little touched, a little emotional. Because Ozzy loved christmas and he always slept under the tree as soon as we put it up and i haven't had the heart to take off his fur there's yeah. ozzy's fur that's the only thing we remember him yeah that's my memory of christmas for him <laughs> so much so i'm just gonna leave his little fur and his little scent on there and i wonder if martin will pick up on it so forgive all the shenanigans in the back i still haven't put away groceries and it's it, like i said it's a little bit of semi-controlled chaos but here are the snoopies here's this guy and the adorable and the precious and then this guy needs batteries i found him at a thrift store i know i need to get a good um scrubbing on him there's little spots on him that are crusty dusty uh but he plays jolly old saint nicholas and i honestly can't remember if he worked or not but he's in his red baron garb so there's him then this little one who's been sitting under the tree for some time now and this one is my favorite one it drives little dude crazy i think it's too loud for him you know with the sensory things and all but he's adorable <laughs> Ow. <laughs> i swear i don't get tired of that so it's thinking adorable but yeah these are my snoop dogs these are my snoop dogs and then in here are my little snoopy decor and the ribbons that i use 
I think the tree skirt's in here. I hope the tree skirt's in here. This is just a random little uh, gift for my brother. We tease him so much about how obsessed he is with his new car um, staying clean. Uh, I thought this was a really good deal. It's 20 bucks for all these pieces. So I got him that, and then my sister wanted a crock pot and I thought this was a really good deal it was 24 something and the the Walmart brand um, was around the same price so you get the classic brand for the same price and it's actually bigger this is the seven quart and the mainstay mainstay the mainstay one was a five and a half quart for $24.99 so this was a much better deal and this is what she wants so this is one of the things she wants so I went ahead and grabbed that um little kitty I don't know where you're picking up these habits of taking over chairs sir but um I need to sit your mama don't feel good your mama's bones hurt your mama's body hurts can I sit down can I sit down my little loaf I guess not I had to sit on a chair that's not my chair. There's my Charlie Brown tree. Little wire brush tree. That's what I use. Because it's as close as I can come to the little rinky dink tree that Charlie Brown picks on this special. And that's where it stands. I decorated it right here. But y'all can see the conundrum. I can scatter my little Snoopies around my little breakfast bar area under the little tree. But if I want to use that big honking lighted one. How's that going to help? How's that going to work? Mm, sorry. But anywho, that was really good. I wanted, I want to give people what they want. This is my thing. I like to give people what they want. I like to give people things that even though they may not think they want it, will be able to use it and enjoy it. Hence that little car thing from my brother. Um, I don't like just to buy random things, but there was so many, there were so many cute things that I was like, oh, that would be sweet for so-and-so. That would be sweet for so-and-so. But one, I don't know if they want it. Are they going to use it? Is it just going to clutter up their house? You know, so I was good. There were some things that I wanted for myself. But again, girl, you don't need it. Girl, you didn't even think about it. But there was one thing, two things. I ain't even going to lie. Two things. One that is absolutely... <laughs> It's just ridiculous. It's que ya se me puso en la cabeza. It's just in my head that I want it. And I've wanted it for years. And, I, and I'm not gonna. Because I don't need it. But I want it. But I don't need it. But every time I go into friggin' Walmart, there it is. And today there were two. You guys, I don't need another TV. I don't... This TV that I have, all the TVs that I have, I have TVs in the freaking garage that I'm not using. But I don't have a 75-inch TV. My living room is so tiny. I'm going to go blinder if I have a 75-inch TV in this living room. But at that price, and then the Hisense brand, it's not a fancy brand, but it's a good brand. It's a reliable brand. I have two Hisense TVs that have been through heck and back with me, and they're still burning. They're still looking good. They're still doing what, you know, they're supposed to be doing. But oh, it is so tempting, guys. It is so tempting to just charge. It is so friggin' tempting. But no, I, I, it's it's too big. It's too big. I'm going to get headaches. But anywho. But one of the things that I did find that I probably would have bought for myself had I been better prepared was a Bible cover. I want a new Bible cover. The, the cover that I have on my Bible and my poor Bible, guys. My Bible has been through some things. Uh, it is in bad shape. Uh, I've had to bring it back to life a couple of times, but it's my Bible. I have many Bibles, but this is my Bible, okay? My Bible, um, it's the one I came to Christ with. It's the one uh, I accepted Christ at the altar with. It's the one that I studied. It's the one that I read four times. It's my Bible. Crusty, dusty, and funky as it is, it's my Bible. And I had a leather cover with a little strap and everything. I love the cover. Very convenient. Lots of little pockets and grooves for notepads and pins and stuff like that. Uh, tithe money. Everything. It was just a perfect little thing. But one of the straps broke. One of the little rings that held one end of the strap broke. And so I just kind of carried it. I kind of cradled it. And it just bugs me that 
Oh, I don't have a strap anymore, but I've wanted a new cover. It doesn't have to have a strap, but I wanted a new Bible cover, but my Bible is huge. Okay, I think the size of it, the dimensions of it would fit, but it's thick. It's really thick, and I don't think these new Bible covers would close on it. But man, when I tell y'all they had the prettiest Bible covers at Walmart today. If I go back to Walmart, and y'all know I live at Walmart, I always forget something. I'm going to try and remember to just put my Bible in my car and carry it into Walmart with me just to see. Because if one of those pretty beautiful things will cover my Bible cover cover my Bible cover, cover my Bible, I will definitely get one. I don't know, it's just little things like that make me so happy. I would really love a new one. Oh, these marshmallows smell delicious. You're going to fluff the Christmas tree? Yes, sir. The moth is still there? Yeah. I thought I killed it. How many of you, I don't know if it's a Latino thing, I don't know, but, or a Southern thing. It could be one or the other. You guys, did any of you grow up hearing that if a black moth, probably brown, but it looks black, did any of you hear that if a black moth flies into your home, it means impending death? My mom used to be so freaking scared when black moths, she didn't care if it was a brown one. She didn't care if it was one of them funky little white ones. But if it was a black one, she would freaking freak out. She would have to kill it. And then she would have to say the rosary. Uh, and then some other little prayer in Spanish. Because she believed that a black moth meant impending death. I was raised believing that. Terrified of black moths flying in. I kid you not. I'm 50 years old. I saw this little thing in here. Everybody kept looking up. My big dude and now little dude looking up. I thought I killed it. For a split second... I got scared thinking, oh my goodness, oh my God. <laughs> something's going to happen. And then I'm like, girl, you have, you got more faith in God than you do in the bl I have more faith in God than I do in some crazy superstition about a black winged little moth, okay? But anywho, I'm going to go fluff this tree and then uh, put part, put this part of the video together so we can get to bacon tomorrow. Okay, so it's actually the next day, guys. Uh, last night, I fluffed a tree. I decorated my little Snoopy tree. I started splicing together um, the beginning of the video and I realized if I do the banana bread, it's going to run really, really long. I mean, longer than usual. So I'm going to do the banana bread separate. I'm actually getting ready to do it right now. Uh, and I think we'll do like a cook with me video. I've been craving mashed potatoes and meatloaf. I know, really, really basic stuff. But I'm thinking maybe we can do a dinner and dessert, cook with Melly kind of thing. Um... I just want to be able to really focus on the banana bread because I haven't baked in so long. I want to do something with you guys and not have it be a disaster. So, um, yeah, we're going to do the banana bread later. But I wanted to end off this video a little different, but I wanted to end off this video and just let you guys know thanks for watching. And I hope you guys are having a great start to your week because it's Monday now. Uh, and I will see you guys very, very soon. And until then, I love y'all bunches. Bye.